air fryer uh, recipe from uh, the recipe book of Christy Dennis. So, uh, just here picking up the ingredients. I just want you guys to see when I come shopping, fairly good produce section. This recipe, we're going to keep it simple. We're going to go with uh, some vegan A's, we're going to go with some mustard, um, and some vegan cheese, and of course some vegan dal. So here is the uh, vegan section. I am out of vegan A's, so I know we're going to need some of that. And we're looking for some vegan cheese. Got American, cheddar, provolone, medium cheddar style. This is a block. I've bought this before. But this, these are sliced, but you don't get quite as much. But that's probably, probably going to do it. Now that I'm seeing this up here, this Go Veggie Cheese Bliss stuff might be good. I think I'll try it too. The recipe calls for uh, some kind of veggie or vegan hot dogs. Now these say veggie, which always has me a little suspicious. Uh, let's see if we can get some information. Okay, so it contains soy, which is just fine with me. These are jumbo, also veggie. Let's see what we got here. Contained soy, same kind of thing, but you only get five of these versus looks like eight of these so you get 12 ounces here and you get what do you get here 13 ounces here for the same price so even though you get fewer here you actually get more product for the same price but they've only got one package so it looks like I'm gonna get one of each the recipe is gonna call for something that requires um, either some pretzel buns I like to make stuff with tortillas and I like these mission flour tortillas they are super soft they're yummy and they have um, a little wheat but no animal products and so that's a pretty good deal for that big pack all right so you know what we're gonna do is we can't find really the hot dog buns that we're looking for but a very nice Kroger employee has just pointed out to me that they've got these buns here that would be probably pretty awesome if we sliced them right and they are vegan Right, so we're gonna get these. It looks like we got uh, some cheese, some of the go veggie cheese. So two kinds of cheese, depending on which one uh, Abby wants. Two kinds of vegan dogs, veggie dogs. Got some more vegan A's. Got some uh, wheat buns and some tortillas in case I want to try those later. Let's find out what this costs. All right, so here we are, Kroger. We're about to check out. We're gonna find out what this collection of goods cost us. All right, so here are the wheat buns. Going across. Flour, tortillas, vegan A's, cheese. Oops. Here we go, here we go, yeah. Let's see what we got. You got a Kroger card for me? 27 cent, or yes, 832-515. Goes to show you, use your Kroger card, you can save some money. All right, 27 40. Okay, uh, so just left Kroger, uh, $27 poor. Um, thing to remember, a lot of those items I just purchased are not just gonna be for one meal. They'll be for several meals. And I use vegan A's on several different things all right so uh yeah but let me turn the radio so you don't always you're not always buying for just one meal right so we just looked in uh, the uh, little cookbook that we got and that chrissy sent and said okay let's make something so the dw and our friend christina have gone off to a ladies function and so that leaves abby and i with uh, the opportunity to crack open the uh, air fryer so that's what's going on now and uh, so we opened up the the menu uh, the cookbook to look for something some kind of menu item something that would be easy for us to learn on because we're not just learning how to make you know this particular vegan meal which by all accounts is really going to be uh, very simple but we're also going to uh, learn how to use the air fryer in general and uh, so looking forward to picking up some uh, ideas about it and you know learning how to use it because being able to quote unquote fry without using oil. That's an extremely uh, intriguing idea. All right, so should be home in a few minutes. We'll find out if Abby is out of the uh, shower. So while I'm working, if I uh, get hungry, I'm gonna have a little of these cauliflower florets. And don't don't work, uh, don't cook when you're hungry, all right? Just get yourself a snack. These are really, really good. I like them, I like them a lot. So this is the air fryer. Um, Power Air Fryer XL. Let's see if there's a brand or something. Um, I don't know. It looks like a 
It's got a giant pod. And I learned not to, I try to pull this thing off. Don't, don't pull that off. And I think this is the, the fryer basket in here. I think this, this comes out, so that comes out. And then if you push the little red button, uh, the whole thing comes out. And I suppose this is what we cook in, all right? So I'm gonna give this a quick rinse uh, before I put anything in it. So I made a photocopy of this page of the, the Vegan Air Fryer by JL Fields. And this is fried hot uh, hot dogs, I guess, or fried hot dogs. This is what I'm trying to make. Um, I'm not gonna worry a lot about the veggies on the dog, but we do have the vegan A's and we do have uh, some of, I think, the only yellow mustard that should be allowed to be on the market, French's yellow. Okay, I'm gonna start with these uh, Jumbo Smart Dogs. I, I decided to go with the Jumbo ones to start with because uh, we have these really large buns that look like they'll fit better. So we're gonna start with these. I'm gonna open them up and get them out of the package and get them ready to go to step two. Okay, so I hope the volume works okay. I actually just put the phone inside a, um, a plastic cup. Uh, Abby is still not ready to assist. So we're supposed to make an, uh, make an incision. We're supposed to cut the, uh, the dogs halfway through. So that's gonna be kind of tricky. Like what's halfway? How do you know if you've, I guess the, you could measure like that, right? All right, uh, back to my original. Wow, it's hard to see where I, there it is. So about the knife's width down so that what can happen then is that the dog the imitate it's okay charlie don't you worry apparently you're supposed to be able to lay the dog out like so in the pan right okay okay so there are three the other two i ha uh these two i haven't opened up but that's kind of what they look like i'm gonna go ahead and just put these three in because i think that with the size of the fryer that may be all it can hold Okay, so this is just three of the dogs. Uh, the jump, they're all jumbo, remember that. So I suppose if I had used the smaller ones, I could have gone the other direction, maybe got more in there, but just three of the jumbo dogs. Um, so let's cook these for 390 degrees, five, uh, three minutes. Um, but I just realized I hadn't turned this on uh, long enough to even expect it to get hot. And so I'm totally clueless as to whether there's any kind of preheat time or anything like that with this thing. I suppose there's not. So, but I am gonna let it run for a minute or two and then um, I'll pop these in. Okay, so here they go. Give a little pop there. Make sure that hit that button, 90. And I think that starts it. And we'll check on it, let me see. Okay, so now I'm gonna get these, uh, this whole wheat. Uh, should be pretty good for a bun. I'm not gonna cut them sideways. I'm gonna go ahead and just make a uh, cut at the top. I keep wanting to say incision, right? So that I can spread it out like that. That'll give it some room. And, and in, uh, when the timer goes off and I get the other ones, uh, get the dogs out, I put these in and we toast them for a minute and we'll see how that goes. Okay, uh, let's see, we've been a uh, full three minutes. I don't know if I have to do anything to stop here. I think I just opened it up. Ooh. Okay, so they're a little bit puffed up in there. So apparently they got some temperature, they got some heat. I hope they stay together. Oh, the one came apart. That's okay, we'll put them together over there. My helper, so I'm having to do all of this, the video cam and the work. My helper is not yet available, but I'm guessing she'll be available when it comes time to eat these hopefully so they come out and they go there we'll get back to those in a minute let's take our buns and they're supposed to go in down like that for toasting so there we go all right we're gonna shut that and hit the button Whoop, there we go 400 degrees it started Okay, time is up. I don't know if it's supposed to wait or anything. I wonder if these are, Ooh, not bad though. I mean, you can get them by hand, but if you have a tool, uh, do that. All right, so those are out. 
So now I'm going to put hot dogs in hot dog buns, amazingly enough. There are the hot dog buns and uh, with uh, the split vegan dogs in there. Let's do the next step. What do you think I'm gonna do next? That's right. You guessed it, put a little cheese on there. I'm thinking that with the cheese with the dogs, I should put them back in for about 15 minutes or so, or 15 seconds or so, what do you think? Yeah, you like that? So we're gonna put in there for, um, put it back in there at 290 for a count of about 15 seconds. Then we'll take them out and see what that looks like, see if the cheese has melted. And if so, these will, this first one will be ready. Finally made it along to help out. I've already been over to Kroger and back and paid for stuff and um, things are moving along nicely. Uh, but I see how you've made it just in time to try out. Oh, yes. Look at that. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yes, sir. All right, let's get this first one out of here. You want to put any mustard on it? No, I don't like mustard. You want to put a little veganese on it? No, I just okay. like it hot. Well, I mean, there it is. Oh, it's hot. Can we wait for it to Shouldn't be too hot. Can you try it? You want to take um, a knife and cut a piece off? Yes, sir. Oh, you can do that. While she's doing that, I'll put another one in for me. So this is, uh, she cut a little piece of it off. This is really hot. I'm amazed at how quickly this uh, air fryer really cooks. Uh, it's gonna be my new friend. I think we're gonna make a lot of good meals together. So there you go. You gonna drop that out? No. Mm-hmm. Uh, You're supposed to wrap it together like a hot dog. Well, but you it, can eat it however you want. That's how I'm gonna eat it. Now the taste test. Getting a thumbs up. Is that a real thumbs up or is that I'm on video? I'm supposed to put my thumbs up, kind of thumbs up. So go, you're happy? Happy, good, happy. All right, I'm gonna try mine. Enjoy. Sorry you missed a fun trip to Kroger. Put a little bit of a veganaise on there. I, I like a little veganaise on my um, vegan dogs. I always have. I can remember growing up and uh, no, we never had vegan anything. Except it happened to be some vegetables. There we go. That doesn't look half bad. I know we could have put, what, some onions or things like that. We could do uh, like a vegan chili that would go on there well too, wouldn't yes, it? Yes, yes, All right, we're gonna give it a try. Okay, so cut a little piece off of that. Gonna give it a try. And this is to Chrissy. Thank you for sending us the air fryer, uh, for air fryer um, cookbook and to the DW for getting an air fryer for Christmas. It is pretty good, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'll be working on the rest of this one, and maybe one more. All right, that was fun. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. On the, since I put that sprinkled um, vegan cheese on here, I have to say that when it's melted in with this dog, it's really not bad. It has a good texture and taste. Uh, it reminds me a lot of real cheese, um, but healthier. This is actually pretty tasty. So we're at, uh, <laughs> we're at the end of the video. I just got finished uh, putting it all together, and it was really fun to do. Um, one little problem. The mixed cheese package had milk as an ingredient. I did not see that in the store. Um, the very last little clip before this one was me saying, wow, that really had a lot of creamy texture like cheese. Well, when you put milk in it, it's going to do that. So here I was thinking, wow, I finally found a vegan cheese that I like. And lo and behold, and I'm probably going to have an upset stomach from that, but uh, hopefully it wasn't a lot of milk, but there was some milk. So be careful when you select your vegan imitation cheese. And uh, even though I tried to make sure that I got everything, I suppose, with all the excitement of being at Kroger with a camera videoing the <laughs> the refrigerated section and people looking like, what is this fool doing? Um, I, I made a mistake on that. So anyway... There you go. Uh, we enjoyed it, and uh, thanks for following along. But be careful when you select. If you select a shredded cheese mix, watch out. You might get one with milk 